Hi and welcome back to Podcast School. This is another A2 Technology and Design video podcast. Today we're going to again look at Carnot Maps and this time we're going to look at the rules that we can use to simplify those Carnot Maps. Okay, so there is a uh, standard Carnot Map, a two variable one at that. It has two terms, A and B. And I've said there, in an earlier lesson, we already saw how Carnot maps can be used to simplify logic. And indeed, in this occasion, you can see that there's a 1 in both the upper right and the lower right hand cell. That tells us that the, the, this Carnot map has an output which is independent of B. Because in this top right hand case, B is a 0. But in the lower right, it's a 1. In other words, the output is high no matter what B is. If it's a 0, it's a 1, or if it's a 1, it's a 1. It doesn't matter what it is, so it's redundant. So that tells us that that uh, function, um, Q, if they take the Carnot map as representing a function called Q, is uh, represented entirely by the input A. Okay, we saw by looking at the Carnot map that the output is independent of B, and B is redundant. I've already said that. Okay. Now, there are seven rules uh, like this that we are going to use. And they're pretty much, uh, I know you've heard these type of th this said before, but they're pretty much golden rules. So if you learn these off, um, and they're not very difficult to learn, uh, you will always end up with minimal expressions when you come to uh, simplify your logic. Okay. So rule number one is groups may not include any cell containing a zero. So this is obviously wrong because a zero is grouped here. Whereas that would have been the correct way to group this. Okay. So that's correct. Now we're going to go through examples at the end. So don't worry if you're not too sure what's happening at the moment. Just have just watch this podcast and things might become clear. Rule number two is that you cannot group diagonal lines, so that's obviously wrong. But what you can do is have two groupings, like a L in the mirror. Okay, so you can do that type of thing. Um, what you'll realize is that this grouping is just A, because we've said that already, it's independent of B. And this grouping is actually B, because it's independent of A. So this expression, if this were a corner map or, a Q, or an output Q, the expression would be uh, A or B, because when you've got two, um, uh, what do we call these? When you've got two groupings, let's say, uh, then it's ORs in between, if you, if you know what I mean. So this, this one is, say, A, and this one is B. So the output Q is A or B. And we'll see this much later on. This will become clear. Okay. The third rule is that you cannot, um, you, you cannot have, say, three uh, cells grouped. It must be uh, of the order of 2 to the n. In other words, 1, 2, 4, 8 cells. So you can't group a 3 like that. That's definitely wrong. If you wanted to do that, then you'd have to group a 2 and a 1 separately. Okay, but this one on the right-hand side, well, that's right, because it's it's got two cells. That's fine. Again, this one's wrong because, could you tell me? Of course, it has zeros in it, and you can't group zeros. But look, this is right, in fact. You can group fours like this. So this one's right. In this case, if this were an output... Um, then the output is independent of A or B. It's always a 1. So uh, they're both redundant. So this is a rather silly example. But it shows you that you can group 4. That's correct. Okay. Rule number 4 is each group should be as large as, res as possible, resulting in as few groups as possible. Now this is actually... It's not wrong, but it's definitely not minimal. All right. The way that that should be grouped is like this, where you group your big four at the bottom and then another four at the side. 
Now, if you spent some time and wrote out the Boolean expression for this one, you would see that it's much more complicated than what this one would be. Okay, so maybe you should go ahead and do that now. It would, uh, it would be a good exercise for you to do. So this one, I'll start you off. This one would be Q equals, and then it would be A, for I'm looking at this one, A not B. So that would be A not B. This one would be, and then A not B, or uh, not A, B. That would be that one. Or A, B. So that would be your, your final uh, expression for if you grouped it like that. Whereas this one, well, this one, this four here, that's just A, isn't it? And this one, well, that's just B. So the actual uh, minimized expression from the corner map being grouped like this is A or B. Much more simple than this. So I've said that no Boolean laws are broken, but it's not sufficiently minimal. It's still wrong to do it that way. Five, each cell containing a one must be part of a group if possible. So really, that's not the way to do it, but that is. Okay, can you see the difference? Rule number six is just, uh, it's not a rule, it's just to say that they can happen. So you can overlap uh, groups. So you shouldn't do it like this, you should do it like this one. Again, you'll end up with expression that isn't minimal if you try this one. <clears throat> Seven, now this is a really interesting one. You can wrap around a table. So if you've got ones in the top like here and ones in the bottom, you can group those as a group of four. See that? In actual fact, this is represented by what, well, you tell me, what's common? The A's aren't common because A is zero there and one there, so that's not it. B is zero in this one, and it's a one there, so that's not common. The, the only common thing is C is a zero. So this grouping of an overlap four like that is actually not C. See that? Interesting. Okay, and you can do it with just a single row as well. Okay, you can do it with a single one. So in summary then, you're not allowed to group zeros, you cannot have diagonals, you must have a, a power of two, in other words it must be one, two, four or eight cells in each group. Groups should be as large as possible to obtain the minimal expression. Everyone must be in at least one group, okay? You can overlap, and you are allowed to wrap around, uh, that you are allowed to wrap the table around, or the corner map around. That's that's quite an interesting one. Now again, I'll show you examples of all of this, so um, if this seems a little weird, uh, just watch the following podcasts and it should become clear. That's it for now, until next time then, bye bye.